Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Manchester City play Crystal Palace tomorrow at home in the Premier League. It's going to be a fascinating game. It's a 3pm kickoff as well, uh, which is a rarity these days. But we got Palace. Uh, obviously, of course, we all remember last season. We don't want to talk about that too much, but of course you will get into it. And we'll get into all the stuff that we can think about. We'll try and predict the 11, uh, try and predict the score, look at Palace a little bit more and all that kind of stuff um, and go into all that because it's going to be a fascinating, fascinating game of football tomorrow. But you know what's more fascinating, though? I'm working with Super 6. Yep, I've got my very own league. Little old the Steam Company has got his own very league. Uh, we've over 450 people in it already. Come and join me, man. Come and join my league and challenge me. The game is dead simple over on Super 6. All you got to do is a free-to-play game, by the way. If you manage to guess the exact scores of six games, so just six games, you could win... 250 grand. Imagine that, man. It's 250 grand. That would be absolutely wonderful. And the best thing about it is your football knowledge is key. Honestly, if you think you understand football and understand scores and all that kind of stuff, download Super 6 by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, use my code as well to join my league, which is, I've forgotten now, off the top of my head, one second. Um, I'll come back to you in a second. But then if you do that... Um, it is EST uh, hyphen S6. EST hyphen S6. It'll be on screen right now as well. But if you do that and join, you could take me on over there. I'm doing terribly. I'm down like 111 for something like that out of about 500 people. It's not very good. But you could do better than me. Join my league right now and test your knowledge. And once again, you could win 250 grand uh, if you get all, uh, all six of the scores bang on. You can see the scores that I've got on screen here alongside me now. One second, let me just bring them up on my phone. These are the ones that I've gone for. I'm really reasonably confident. I'm reasonably confident in these ones. I've gone, of course, for uh, City to win 3-1 against Palace tomorrow, which is a bit of a bit of a uh, you know a spoiler ahead of my prediction bit for this. 3-1 I'm going for. Liverpool, I'm going for a 2-0 victory against Bournemouth, I reckon. I think they'll get their form back onto it, um, which will be a decent result for them. I've gone as well for uh, Leicester to get a point away at Chelsea. I know Chelsea's form's been up and down, but I do think Leicester, even though they've been poor, will manage to upset the Chelsea faithful and get a point. I can also see Arsenal carrying on their good form, though I can imagine a couple of Mitrovic late goals even. I think Arsenal will be relatively comfortable. I think Mitrovic will cause a little bit of trouble, so I've gone for 3-2. Not as close as it looks, though, if you know what I mean. One of those ones where it's a late flourish. Maybe it'll be 3-1 for a while, then it'll be a late goal or something like that. I've also gone as well for Newcastle, who were great against us last week, to get a 1-0 victory away, which is a tough ground to go to, Molyneux, but I think they'll do it. I think, once again, it'll be a masterclass from St. Maximin. Cameron Wilson will do good for them. And then finally, I've gone for Conte Spurs to spank Forest 3-0, because I think they'll be really, really good. They are my predictions. Once again, predict six scores, you can win 250 grand. And one lucky, one lucky blue or whatever will win a Manchester City shirt if you finish above me in the league. And a few people won it already, uh, Fair play to those. Who's currently top of my league? Let's have a look. Uh, it is top of my league. Um, my top league, I think it's Stephen Carr, I think. Uh, well done to Stephen. Stephen Carr and Dan Lawson chasing in Rob Forrest. Yeah, I'm miles up. He's got Gavin Milne, Asad Salim. These people did him wonderfully. Good luck to all of those who get involved. Go and do it. Click the link in the description. Enter my league and get yourself some Super 6 goodness. Let's get ourselves some Manchester City goodness. Um, so... Uh, this game's interesting. We all know that Manchester City's record against Palace has always been relatively hit and miss. Palace last season took, um, you know, they drew against us at Sellers Park, but they beat us last season 2-0. It was not a good game of football. We struggled in that game. Uh, who scored the goals? It was Zaha and Callum Gallagher. Gallagher, who was obviously a thorn in our side, um, isn't here, which is a shame for them, but they do have talent in the likes of Eze and Olise and so on. I actually spoke to... Um, uh, Dan Cook from HLTCO Podcast uh, is a Crystal Palace fan earlier that'll be up later on tonight by the way the opposition preview and he was so positive about the way that they play football these days and the skill that they've got and we know that Palace can get a Manchester City in fact their record I think we've only won five of our last ten against them or four of our last nine if you want to go by that far um, or a bit less far I guess but in general they tend to get points against us you know their record is good against us um, we do obviously beat them more than we don't but still you know it's there's no guarantee here that we're going to do the business here against them and it's interesting, especially given the context, of course, of what's gone on at Manchester City recently. We've had the the friendly midweek, the free or friendly, where we saw the likes of Gomez get some game time with Cole Palmer and Calvin Phillips. Hopefully Phillips is okay, but we don't know. We'll get onto that in a little bit. And of course, last week we had the free all draw as well. Guardiola, um, he didn't have loads to say in the press conference, though he did have one wonderful bit of news. He very aggressively, actually, very like, he had, he was, he had his face on that. And he was like, and then he basically said that Bernardo Silva is staying 
Bernardo Silva. Uh, that's great news. Absolutely wonderful news. He said he's had no phone calls. He said we've had no bids, whatever, and he is staying. He looked annoyed as well, and he looked uh, uh, he looked like um, he looked on it basically. There was also a question as well about dropping points to Palace last season, to which he just said. We won the Premier League, dead bluntly. I love it when Guardiola's in this mood. He absolutely uh, is on one. And I got the impression that there's been some real truths this week or something like that, but he looks, he looked fired up for this press conference. Um, but the Bernardo, Bernardo Silva's stuff is wonderful. He said there's no phone calls, no emails from any clubs, and he said he is staying. So there we go, he's staying. Guardiola's also asked about the Champions League draw. He said the draw is the draw, it is what it is. We, we have not much time, but we'll start to know them more deeply. Hopefully we can go through. Yeah, I've, I feel the same. Look, I didn't do a video about the draw, but my instant reactions, we'll finish top of that. I, I fancy to beat Sevilla, Copenhagen, Dortmund. It's an interesting group. It's not the easiest, but not the most difficult. We should be fine there. But in terms of the team news, look, I haven't got much to say, unfortunately, because Guardiola said he, said he was unable to provide any team news uh, because they trained this afternoon, so they haven't trained yet. So obviously he'll have some ideas, but he just gave nothing away. So as far as we know... Who bloody knows? Like, all we can do is look at the Barcelona game and the Newcastle game and have some kind of prediction. Obviously, Ake and Grealish and Laporte weren't involved in that. Like, Grealish, apparently, the rumours were he's feeling a little bit better. I don't know if Ake's going to be all right. Of course, we saw Calvin Phillips go off on his arm, but once again, the rumours were that it wasn't that serious. Luke Mbete is going on loan now, apparently, to Huddersfield. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know I don't know what the squad's going to be, but we, we have to just guess and see how it comes out. So, it's hard, to, very hard to say. In terms of the, predicting the team, well... Look, we'll go for Edison in goal. We'll go for Cancelo at left-back. I think it's going to be Stones and Diaz, which is a good centre-back pairing, of course. Um, I presume they're both fine. No, Ake, maybe. Maybe Ake's fine. But Stones and Diaz is quality, of course. Um, it'll be, obviously, Kyle Walker at right-back. He did play, obviously, centre-back the other day, but I presume that was just, you know, numbers or whatever. Maybe he was, try he was trying to see a new thing in case we have it, a centre-back injury. But it'll be them. It'll be Rodri. I think it'll probably be very similar again. I do think we'll probably see De Bruyne play is going to play. I think we'll probably see, look, Palace at home. I think you'll probably play Gundogan. Then probably Foden, Haaland, and it'll be one of Mares or Bernardo. I think it might be Bernardo. I think it might be Bernardo, which is unlucky for Mares fans. I'm sorry, but that's, I think, what Guardiola will do. Something like that is my prediction. As for the bench, who knows, man? Ortega, Gomez, who looked good the other night, in my personal opinion, you know, do we have a centre back? Is Aki going to make it? Who knows? You know, do we have Calvin Phillips? Who knows? Do we have Cole Palmer? We do. Do we have Alvarez? We do. Um, don't know if we have Grealish. Who knows, man? It's looking very, very Fredbear, but it is what it is. In terms of the opposition preview, well, um, there'll be a big old video coming up later on tonight with Dan uh, Dan Cook from the HLTCO podcast. Uh, which is good stuff, man. It's good stuff. We chatted a lot about Palace and whatever. That'll be coming up later. So go and pay attention to that when it comes out later on. But in terms of Palace, man, like their start to the season, uh, they were probably a little bit lucky to lose 2-0 to Arsenal in the open day of the season. There's quality from Arsenal. But Palace gave a good account of themselves. And of course, as well, they, they got the point uh, at Anfield as well, which is really impressive playing on the counter-attack. Zaha, of course, got a beautiful goal, which had Gary Neville purring, saying it was Henri-esque. And he carried on that form as well against Villa when they won 3-1. And Aston Villa, um, you know, a decent side, but Palace were the better team that day. Uh, and Zaha as well has found a really good vein of form. He scored three goals so far. He's found a maturity to his game. He turns 30 in November, Zaha. And I think he's just really settled into his skin at Palace. He knows what he is. He's improving. And he's, he's operating now as sort of a of the ability as a, essentially a striker at the times. But Palace are such an exciting team. When you look through their team these days, they've got obviously quality players. Vieira is doing good things over there for him, man. He's made them tough to beat sometimes or capable of playing nice football. Uh, Joachim Anderson and Gay are good defenders. Uh, you know, you've, got, you've got Ward and Terry Mitchell. The uh, fullbacks are good players. You've got Decore, who's a really good player. The, uh, Eze, magic in his boots, of course. They've got um, Ayu, who's really... Uh, John Ayu is really, uh, you know, really hard working and so on. You got Zaha, uh, of course. Ola is one of the most skillful young footballers in the league, in my personal opinion. The people like Mateta and you know, uh, who else have they got on the bench? Uh, Nathaniel Klein, people like that. They've got good players, basically, you know, a, a whole bunch of quality. So yeah, look, I, they they're a good side. They are a good side, and they could cause a lot of trouble. Having said that, I, I've got to go with my prediction. Still, uh, you know, I do think Man City are going to win this game. I can't, I can't really see past it. Um, I think we'll go for a 3-1 win. I think it will be close, but I do think ultimately in a game like this, I think the quality of De Bruyne and Erling Haaland will just be too much. And Erling is that guy, you know. I'm expecting City to be 
Do you expect we'll play the inverted kind of thing? I don't really know if we will do. We might see a little bit of it, but of course we had our, our wings clipped and burned, the fingers burned a little bit um, by St. Maximin and Almiron on the counter the other day. And obviously Palace have the kind of players to Ineze and Zaha to do a very similar thing. And Vieira would have paid attention to that. And I'm almost certain Guardiola would have paid attention to that as well and would have planned accordingly. So I'm expecting um, City to essentially be aware of how this could go. Uh, and fingers crossed... Fingers crossed that we, we, we have set up, set up the right way. But I'm going for 3-1. I'm going for yeah, Haaland, uh, Brace, and probably Foden or something like that. Um, something like that. Is this how Foden passes to Haaland this time? I'm sure he will. I'm sure it's not. It was never a big deal, by the way. I think people are reacting to it massively. So that is my prediction. Uh, of course, go and join my Super 6 League by clicking the link in the description below. Be massively appreciated. EST-6. Come and challenge me, and you could win over 250k as well, which is absolutely wonderful. For now, though, uh, thanks for watching this video. Thank you to all the patrons currently scrolling down the side of the screen. These are my heroes, and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the, all the match stuff, all the usual content, and, of course, as well, the opposition preview coming out later. Big love, like, comment, subscribe in a bit.